We're back. You're back with me in my apartment and we're making cocktails today with strawberries. And if you don't like strawberries, not the episode for you to watch. Some fresh, we have frozen strawberries, we have dehydrated strawberries. The most beautiful thing about these things is they're amazing, vibrant, beautiful, delicious, totally nostalgic and reminiscent of spring and summer. We dug out some Thai basil, which will just help elevate the entire drink. It'll add that layer of herbaceous, spiced peppery note, which will help curb and complement the freshness of the strawberries also play and balance really well off these fresh limes we got. Quarantine fucking sucks. We're all going through it together, but it's incredible to be able to watch everyone getting more involved, getting their hands dirty, trying to figure out the different elements and how they fit together. I'm here for you. I'm your guide. Let me guide you through the quarantine. We're gonna start by working with this basil. And we're gonna just pick off some of these leaves here. We're just gonna get about uh, 25 to 30 basil leaves in here. Sounds like a lot. Throw them in the pot. And if you're working with less of the basil, you can do things such as chopping it. You can take the basil leaves and actually just smack to agitate them or rip them apart. But by opening them up, again, we're gonna be able to release some more of those aromatics. Bring our induction up to a full tilt here. We wanna go full heat on this and we are putting one cup of water we're gonna make a rich syrup. Make sure our basil gets in here. Swimming around real nice, they look happy. Applying heat to ingredient, especially as it's simmering in a water, is gonna really help to really bring out the aromatics, the qualities of the produce that you're steeping. Before we dissolve our sugar into this water, again, we just really wanna make sure it's developed. In the meantime, we're working with our strawberries. As soon as this pandemic is over, we're gonna be able to celebrate and drink fucking cocktails. Outside, inside, on roof in your home, in my home. You can, be, you can be in my home with me. We're cleaning our strawberries. We have fresh strawberries. They've been washed. They're off the farm. They're absolutely vibrant. They're beautiful. Break six of these down. And we want to get as much of that strawberry flavor. If you like the, the strawberry tops on the strawberry, it adds a really cool, herbaceous, almost soft, bitter, peppery note. Very complimentary of our Thai basil. We are going to now incorporate two parts sugar into this syrup. So we're gonna meet the one cup of water that we have into the syrup with two cups of sugar. And you might be asking, why do I have to make a syrup? Why am I cooking my Thai basil? Why am I eating strawberry tops? By processing these ingredients is we're extending their shelf stability, right? So we have fresh strawberries. These might not last all pandemic. This Thai basil is never gonna last. I mean, it's fucking hot in here. It's spring, things are dying. They're gonna be much more stable. This will be good in your fridge for up to about 30 days. We're gonna take our, our fresh strawberries here. This goes straight in to a little food processor. We take our basil syrup and let's see what we got here. Yes, I am using granulated white sugar because that's what I have in my pantry. However, if you don't have granulated white sugar and you have agave syrup, it's a great alternative, especially for this cocktail. What grows together typically goes together. All right, well, let's get these things out of our fucking way so we can see what we're doing here and what we're working with. We have our clean, fresh, diced strawberries in our food processor. We have our Thai basil rich syrup. We're gonna go ahead and measure out about half of this syrup. So we have a pint of syrup. We're gonna, about 500 milliliters of syrup. We're gonna just kick about half of it in. This is not gonna seal your fate. We can add more strawberries. We can add more Thai basil syrup, but let's play with this and see exactly where we get. We just pulse this. I'm doing a, a pulse setting on the food processor. And what you'll be able to see once I pull this off, but what we have is we have these nice, inconsistent chunks, some bigger, some smaller. Now we have fresh strawberries emulsified by our Thai basil simple syrup and you're just going to kick this right back in use the same pot you don't even need to clean it we took our little particulates our uh our thai basil trash out of there it's not trash thai basil is not trash <laughs> to be honest we're bringing this thing up to a simmer we're going to let it ride for five minutes and then we are going to take this off the heat and we're going to start to make a cocktail tequila and limes go back farther than time itself. Not only do they taste great with tequila and the Thai basil and strawberry, it's a very complimentary acidic component for this cocktail, which will curb the sweetness of the strawberry. We've killed the heat on our syrup. Our syrup's done. We're gonna go ahead and pop this off the induction burner and we're gonna wanna let it cool down. So we've incorporated all these amazing flavors. You're welcome to save these strawberries and make a little preserve, make a little jam. We're gonna grab a lime here. Uh, we're gonna go for a nice, nice juicy sucker, one of these bigger guys. And uh, we're just gonna cut it in half. We're gonna use a hand juicer. We're gonna go ahead and squeeze directly into our tin. And we are looking for a half ounce of lime. 
the star of the show, strawberries. But we are making an agave tequila based cocktail. This is Pueblo Viejo tequila. It is absolutely my favorite brand of tequila and these people just absolutely know what they're doing. So we are going to measure two ounces of tequila. This cocktail might not even be a cocktail. If you're not drinking, you know, feel free to double the citrus. We can double the syrup and then we can throw it over ice with some Topo Chico. We can hit it with a little club soda. You can elevate your non-alcoholic experience. Maybe you got kids at home, make them a nice soda. Our syrup is perfect temperature right now. So we're gonna go ahead and just step ahead and measure three quarter ounce of our rich syrup. Just going to measure a quarter ounce of Cointreau. Any number of different expressions of, of orange or citrus based liqueurs all combined in there. We're finding a ton of balance. We're finding a lot of really fun structure and we're gonna uncover a ton of really fun flavor together. And we are using our freezer ice. So we just need to make sure we're not over diluting our cocktail. So we filled our shaking tin with ice. It's gonna give a really nice shape, a very nice soft shape. And it can be a shorter shape, right? The ice is gonna break up really easily because of its density. So you don't wanna overwork it. You don't wanna over dilute the cocktail. You don't wanna make it more challenging to strain the cocktail into the glass. So if we take our cocktail, our strainer, we have our fine strainer because we have maybe a little particulate, um, definitely some nice ice shards in there from the puppies being broken up. So we're just gonna take a couple tops. This Thai basil has these absolutely gorgeous little florets on top. So we let one of those sit in front and just add a nice little dimension here. You get the really beautiful aromatic quality. We've made it. We got a cocktail together. Thank you for joining me. Now I'm gonna go drink this cocktail.